Make sure you follow me on social media to get updates and ask me questions. Enjoy the video! Now that we have implemented roles, I want to create two routes for a different purpose. What I mean is this. In the Laravel series, we have seen how middlewares work. This is what I want to do this time. I want to create two middlewares, one for the admin and one for the manager. Routes that are under the admin middleware cannot be accessed by somebody that number one is not authenticated and number two is not an admin. For example, you want to create a route that displays the total earnings of the company. You want the route to be accessible only by the admin. A manager and even worse, a non-authenticated user should not be able to access it. And middlewares do exactly that. So let's start by creating the route. Route get earnings. We said that this route should be accessible only by an admin. So let's create an admin controller. I will open my terminal. PHP artisan make controller admin controller. Let's use this admin controller at we can say earnings for the function. So let's create the earnings function public function earnings. Okay, so let's see what we can do. We can very easily return earnings here. Of course, you can return a view if you want, but the point is not creating a view. The point is to understand how the backend logic works. So to keep this simple, I will just say you return total earnings and we can give a number. So if you visit the earnings URI, you get this result. However, take a look. Right now, I am not authenticated because remember, if we are authenticated, let me authenticate so you can see, the message now says here authentication with Sentinel. But once you authenticate, it says hello test. So, or whatever the name you gave. So if I log out, we are not authenticated. So a non-authenticated user should not have access to this earnings URI. And I want to add this condition. I hope you have seen my video on middleware in the Laravel series, so you understand what we are doing now. Anyway, let's create the middleware for this. So I will go to my terminal and I will say PHP artisan make middleware admin middleware. The middleware will help us to add the conditions that we need to make this route accessible only to users that we want. So let me open this admin middleware and let's take a look. So what is the first condition? First, we want the user to be authenticated. This is condition number one. So we can add it here, for example, user should be authenticated. Then condition number two is what? Authenticated user should have the role admin. So should be an admin. Let's start with condition number one. So we want to make sure that the user is authenticated. Well, first of all, let me include Sentinel. So use Sentinel. And let's go down here. If Sentinel check. So we have already used this one and you already know what this does, right? So if the user is authenticated, it will return the user. Otherwise, it will return false. So if the user is authenticated, then we continue the request. Of course, this will not work because number one, we have to register the middleware and number two, we have to use it. So let's register it first. I will open kernel.php inside the HTTP folder and I will scroll down to the route middleware array and we can add it here. The name that I will give it is admin and then we just need the namespace. So app HTTP middleware admin middleware. So now let's use it. Let's go back to the web.php file 
and let's take a look at this. You can create a route group in case you have many routes that should have an admin middleware, and we have already discussed that in the Laravel series, or you can apply the middleware that we just created to just one route. You can do it like this, middleware, and then here you pass the name of the middleware, in our case it is admin, so whatever name you gave it right here. Alright, so what else? So if the user is authenticated, then let the user access the URI, otherwise we can redirect the user somewhere. So return redirect and let's say the index page. You know what, I want to try this without having the second condition, this one right here. So if the user is authenticated, then continue with whatever the user requested. Otherwise, redirect the user back to the index page. So take a look, I am not authenticated, and if I go to earnings, we are redirected to the index page. So if the user is not authenticated, then redirect back to the index page. So let's log in and see what happens. So if I go back to the login form, and I try to log in, and by the way, make sure you use an email that has a role. In my case, example2 at example.com with id4 it has a role with id2. Anyway, let's see this. So if I press login and I go to earnings, there you are. Now that we are authenticated, we go inside the if statement right here and we continue whatever we requested, which was to access the earnings URI. And now that we are authenticated, we can do this. And of course, if you log out, so if I go log out here, and you try to access this again, you cannot do this anymore because you are not authenticated. Okay, so what about the second criteria or condition? The second criteria is to make sure that the authenticated user should be an admin or that the user should have the role admin. Well, let's have another if condition here. So we can open curly braces and then if sentinel get user roles first slag equals to admin. Okay, so what I did here? Well, first of all, get the user, the authenticated user. The roles here is a relationship that will return all the roles for that user. Remember, Sentinel allows you to have multiple roles for a user, so this here will return all the roles. So from that array of roles, just get the first one, the first role. So this here, this part right here, it will return an object. Because it is an object, we can access the slag of that role. So what I will do to get a better idea is to log this result here. So I will comment this and I will say log info and then we can say role role and I want to log this result right here along with the first. So if I do this and I save this we can now go to storage logs and then laravel.log so every time you get an error errors are logged right in this file so make sure you delete everything first and go back to the browser slash earnings and let's see if I open the laravel.log file okay we have nothing oh yeah because we're not authenticated so let's authenticate example 2 secret and yeah let me try this again it looks like I did a spelling mistake in the admin middleware so it has to be Sentinel and not Senti. Yeah, right here, Sentinel. Okay, let me delete this again. Reload, and here we are. So if you take a look at this, we return an eloquent role. The eloquent role has an ID, it has a slag, a name, permissions, pretty much everything. The ID here is 2 because this is the role that the authenticated user has. So this is why we can access slag, because slag is accessible here, right? You can see that the attribute slag has the value manager. 
And of course, you can also access ID or you can access name or you can access created that or whatever you want. So I think that now you might have a better idea of what this Sentinel get user roles first does, right? Anyway, so I will delete this log and I will comment this out. And this has to be Sentinel, okay. So in our case, as you already saw here, the user has the role manager. And of course, manager is not equal to admin, right? And because it is not equal, we need another else here. So we have to pretty much copy this and paste it here. But I do not want to duplicate things. So what I will do is to get this and I will add it inside the first if. So we can say something like if Sentinel check and this condition. And we can also get rid of the curly braces because this is just one line after the if. Okay, so this will do the trick. So previously, if you remember, the user could access the earnings URI because we were only checking if the user is authenticated. But now we also added the second condition, which is to make sure that the authenticated user has the role admin. In our case, this user doesn't. So if I refresh this, hopefully we are redirected back to the index page. Let's try this. And yeah, we do. So if I change the role, of course, to one, so now this user is an admin, it is not anymore a manager, and we try to access earnings, we actually can do that because now we are admins. So let me bring this back to two. Let's try this again, redirect it. So as an exercise, I want you to implement pretty much the same logic, but for the manager. So make sure you create something unique. For the manager, you could have something like tasks. So the tasks that the manager has. So this URI should not be accessible by the admin, only by the manager. Of course, the solution of this exercise will be in the next video.